the sea, covers over two-thirds of our planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Scuba diving allows us to peel back the blue veil that obstructs our eyes from all the magnificent things that lurk below. and rest beneath the sea. We invite you to join us as we travel and explore all that lies beneath. Hi there, everybody. This is Captain Dennis heading out today for another interesting dive. Today, we're down in Pompano, Florida, Pompano Beach, and we're heading out to dive one of the newest artificial reefs down here in Florida. It's a wreck called the Lady Luck. It's a big 324-foot tanker, and uh, it's kind of got like a casino boat thing going on right now. So let's go down and take a look at it. Everything looks great here. But there's a little bit of current, a little bit more than I'm accustomed to. And as we make our way down the descent line, you can see my regulator hose is vibrating pretty violently. That means there's some current. But as we get down closer to the bottom, we can start to see the massive ship show up. And we are tied in on the stern, so we're going to head on down that way. Water's nice and warm today. And you can see the visibility is pretty good. So here we are at the stern. And we're going to slowly claw our way forward. You can see this is a pretty, pretty big, big boat. It's about 50 feet wide. And there's lots of stuff to check out down here. Not a lot of growth on it because it's only been down for about six months. Here we're going to take a look down inside. Got a barracuda hanging over here. Apparently the last party they had on this boat blew the doors off. You can still see the original paint on the wall. Nobody, nothing growing on the walls in here yet. So now we're going to scoot on around the starboard side and make our way forward as we move forward we're gonna peek into these doors we're gonna turn the lights on and you can see there's a little bit of particulate in the area some other divers have been through here and somebody left a sink running and that's how the boat sank no this is actually done intentionally with close supervision so here we are now we're looking in the midship area kind of still moving forward that really wasn't midship but is the middle of the boat crystal crystal blue nice nice colors down here and you can see inside it's awfully dark so there's no real ambient light inside but if you turn the light on you can see looks like it went down yesterday folks So now we're getting, oh, W, Wolverines. Here we are near the business end of the ship. And you can see there's some interesting piping going on over here. And you got some, some sharks. And they're uh, playing some poker, I guess, or some kind of card game. There they are. Card sharks, get it? And here we have the mermaid waitress. It's 
some interesting accesses through the interior of the ship. And some fish hanging out down here too. And we're going to keep moving forward. These are Atlantic spade fish, if I'm not mistaken. Those are some giant playing dice. So we're going to go up this little catwalk thingy. And the current is really pushing pretty hard while we're up here. So we're trying our best to stay on the ship. Here you can see the front of it. And we're going to turn around now and start making our way back to the tie-in. The ship's kind of got like a Chester Poland thing going on. Chester Poland's another tanker up in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Now we're going to turn around and start heading aft. And you can see the massive... So, oopsie daisy Sorry about that. You can see the massive superstructure. This is a pretty big ship, folks. You can see there's all kinds of uh, stickers and things like that on this boat. I don't know how long they're going to be here or be able to be visible because I'm pretty sure things are going to start growing on this pretty soon. So here we are on the top deck on the port side. And I'm guessing this is, a, I don't know, a, a steering section or control section. Those look like throttles to me. So here we are heading through the bridge. Still relatively new. Nothing really grown in here yet. Clear blue water out of those front windows. And a whole mess of fish hanging outside. Climb up this little ladder thingy. And here we are on the very top of the ship. And you got your smokestack or funnel or exhaust, whatever you want to call it. But you can see here the Isle Casino Racing Company and the city of Pompano Beach were the ones that donated some money to get this brought down here. So it was very nice of them. So thank you for that. So we're pretty much at the end of our dive. We're going to do a nice ascent. And here you can see there's some divers still hanging out on the wreck. There's a class down here doing some skills. And you can see those bubbles are all going sideways. It's supposed to be going straight up. But there's a little bit of current. You never know what you're going to get when you get out here sometimes. So we're going to slowly make our way up to the surface. Take another look here at the Lady Luck. And we hope you enjoyed today's dive. We'll be coming back here to do our second dive after our interval. So stick around and stay tuned at the same Squalus time, same Squalus channel. Look at this. Look at these fish. You're stuck. They're swimming. You're swimming. Swim for it. Swim for it. So if you want to check out other videos, you can check us out at squallusmarine.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is our 120 some odd video. So there's a whole bunch more to watch. Thanks again to Pompano Dive Center for taking us out today. And until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.